Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Charlotte Kahn and you're watching Telecom TV. Now, the next phase of digital transformation will require the use of groundbreaking technology like AI and machine learning. So how can the telecom industry successfully integrate these technologies in its development strategy? And what are some of the use cases for them? To discuss this very important topic, I am joined today by Inent Chakaroglu, Director of Artificial Intelligence, Data Analytics and Data Science at Turkcell, Turkey's leading mobile phone operator, and Bill Wright, Head of AI, ML and Intelligent Edge at Red Hat. Well, thanks to both of you for being with us today. Now, Inent, let's start with you. Can you tell us what Turkcell's overall strategy and vision is generally? Where would you like to see the company going? Uh, as Turk said, actually to start with, we no longer define ourselves just a telco operator. Uh, more, uh, we rather express ourselves as a technology company and the digital services provider with telco in the core and the digital services and the other business like fintech, health or energy around. And for all these operations, AI, AI ML has a game changer value to enrich the business and to enrich our technical capabilities. Um, for AI and the ML, I, they are actually nothing new for us. We have been dealing with the analytical models with many purposes for a long period of time. But in recent years, besides these core data science capabilities, Industrial AI applications and the platforms, they begin to take more and more part in our portfolio. We can say that the real story started when the enhancements and the advancements in the field of artificial intelligence met with the increased hardware and the software capabilities for computing and for the storage. And it becomes a good leverage for us to differentiate our services, to contribute into our business revenues, operational excellence and the cost reductions. And of course, it is not just the um, gaining advantage on the competition issue and the marketing issue. It is also a responsibility to play a crucial role for creating an AI ecosystem and providing solutions for the society. So what are some of the use cases and workloads in which you have successfully leveraged AI and machine learning? We invest, invest on different verticals in the field of artificial intelligence, such as um, NLP, speech analytics, computer vision, hyper automation. To mention about a few use cases, uh, we have very powerful engine for text-to-speech conversion with our own voice generated. We also developed a chatbot platform that application uh, and this platform enables you to create your own chatbots whenever they are necessary. Also, we invested onto internal RPS, RPA solutions with more than 60 use cases internally. Image processing is another critical key area for our AI investment. It's used for the digital onboarding, fraud management, face recognition, and with some fancy use cases uh, like pay approved by your face or donate with, with the smile. Uh, these use cases and the AI services, they are not just for internal and the Tuxel usage. We are also open these services to community and the, to industry. They are uh, available to reach and to use anywhere in the world. And even we deploy one of the services, Donate with the Smile, into Ukraine, Ukraine lifestyle operations. Thanks, Inanj. Now let's move over to Bill. Bill, what are you seeing from a Red Hat perspective with regards to AI use cases and workloads? This social impact perspective Inanj was discussing is really interesting, isn't it? It really is. And I think it's actually one of the most important aspects, I think, of AI, if not the most important. Uh, I think there are a lot of different use cases and areas where AI can be applied and uh, network optimization, all the usual use cases you think of. But really, you know, Looking at it in ways where you can leverage these use cases from a social impact perspective to me is paramount. And the Turkcell Spread the Smile AI-based ad campaign was brilliant and a well-crafted example of how this technology can really be a positive force for social good. And it was also deployed on Red Hat OpenShift, which we were very excited about, but the campaign illustrated how this movement in teleco goes well beyond primary network automation. So there are a vast array of use cases where AI and ML can be you know, used to enhance an operator's efficiencies and the bottom line, but few are more important than that interaction. So um, when you think about it, there are call center use cases where state-of-the-art chatbots can deliver seamless and highly targeted interactions, and they lead to a greater customer satisfaction index. 
Yeah, but there are also visual identification systems that can be used for like, tower maintenance and uptime, uh, facial and emotional identification, and so on. And these approaches and others are used to enhance and strengthen the relationship between Turkcell and their customers. In Ange, Turkcell decided to use Red Hat OpenShift to develop this platform. Why was open source so attractive? Why did you favor this approach? Red Hat is already a key partner for Tuxel and we are working together for years. We already deployed Red Hat OpenStack for our digital services and the NFP platform. Also, we use Red Hat OpenShift as a main container platform for various services. And the Red Hat SAF storage is a good solution for our public cloud and the animal service. For AI, it is not always a good choice to create tailor-made and one-shot, one-time solution services. It is best to develop cloud-native platforms containing all AI services, which can be easily deployable, reused, flexible, and scalable on the cloud. Our platform, AI Hub, is based on OpenShift. It is designed to support all our AI scenarios as a solution, as a software, as a service, or product platform as a service. Public cloud environments are usually preferable for developer communities since they provide with isolation from the efforts of maintaining infrastructure. And sometimes it is not possible to use public cloud because of some restrictions or the regulations. For such cases, Kubernetes is a good solution. Open source is a good solution, provide almost the same comfort for developer community. This is why we prefer to develop our solution in Kubernetes, and since OpenShift is a Red Hat supported distribution of it, we prefer OpenShift. Now, Bill, can you tell us a bit more about how Red Hat enables AI environments for telcos generally who are moving in this direction? Well, as mentioned, our real power is in our community approach, and that is how we take a look at the uh, all the different verticals and industries that we work with. So we get an enormous amount of input through these communities in terms of uh, platform enhancements and new technology movements and uh, the different directions we need to go in. But uh, again, going back to what was said earlier, it's far more than just network automation. That's the thing. And, and so really what we try to do is look at all the different various use cases, apply our technologies, but also really listen to our customers and make adjustments as needed and really bring those enhancements to the market that are really necessary. But we have a full portfolio to support AI workloads. We have, you know, of course, OpenShift that has been mentioned from a containerization perspective and container management perspective, but there's our Ceph storage portfolio, our, our middleware, a wide variety of different tools and platforms to basically enable an AI ecosphere. And that's really what we do best. Inanj, what was the outcome you were trying to achieve with your AI Hub platform? And did you attain this? Were you successful? Um, with AI Hub, AI Hub platform, our main goal was gather different AI services under one roof, one umbrella, and to, to make them available as a software, as a solution to our customers. Uh, there were three challenges. Uh, first, as I said, uh, the, all the services should be gathered under one umbrella, one roof. The second, these solutions, these services should work on GPU. And the third, these GPU resources should be shared efficiently. So with the containerized solutions, OpenShift, we created reusable images, use similar structure for different services with scalable, flexible, efficient, and the high performance platform. And the, the basic answer, yes, we were successful. Now, finally, I have a question for both of you. We'll start with Bill. Bill, what advice do you have for telcos who are looking at leveraging AI and machine learning and their business models? How do they get started with this? Uh, to get started, there are a lot of different ways to engage, and community engagement is one way to basically get your get your feet wet and get excited and understand where the industry is moving. And uh, participating in different communities is a great way to do that. And then also uh, taking a real good look at your business objectives and seeing where AI and ML, I guess you could say, enhancements could really help propel your business forward and give you deeper insights as uh, as you really try to you know do what you can to help your customer base. And Inanj, what's your view on this? I mean, what recommendations would you give other players out there or colleagues? For such kind of a journey, uh, you actually, there are two major paths you can choose. Either you should buy it or you should buy build it. If you like to build it, you need an excellence on AI ML is needed. And also you're gonna need an excellence on the infrastructure engineering. 
Um, it should be considered whatever you are building as an AI service, it should be designed as a cloud native service. This should be the main motto. You should initiate and establish that culture inside of uh, your developer community that you are working with. Creating so-called playground environment for friendly trials could be also a good startup point. And of course, you should stick to OpenShift. Well, Inanj Bill, thank you very much for joining Telecom TV and sharing your views and insights with us today.